Got one. Man, he's in really shallow water. Might lose him. All right, buddy. Big bunch right here. No way. Next half. Hooked up. Oh. Patreon, donate now, Patreon, I'll be, okay, this is awful. Hey there, before this video gets started, real quick here, the best way to support my channel is through my Patreon. There are four tiers to choose from. By becoming a patron, you gain access to exclusive content like sneak peeks of new content coming and a monthly patron-only Q&A video where patrons ask questions in the private Patreon community and I will answer them, talk about them, ask me whatever you want about fishing on Vancouver Island, non-fishing stuff, whatever. It will all be included in a monthly video accessible by patrons only. Also, as an $8 per month supporter, I will shout out your name on screen in every single video that's uploaded to this channel and as a $20 per month supporter, you get a verbal special thanks shout out in every single video. And by the way, no one's a $20 patron yet, so if you want to be the first, here's your chance. Thank you to all the current patrons who support me over on Patreon. It really means a lot to me that you guys would go above and beyond and that my channel means enough to you that you want to support me in this way. Anyway, you clicked on this video to see some chrome beach pink salmon on the fly rod, so I will not hold things up any longer. Back to the video. Well, I'm excited for this one. We are starting today's video off already two hours away from home, and we've arrived at this beautiful river with only a couple hours of daylight left because what we're actually coming here to do, at least the main thing, is we're hoping to run into some early pink salmon from the beach. And uh, from what we heard from the guy camping next to us, there is hordes of fly fishermen, both camping and fishing, down at the beach where that pink fishing is supposed to happen. So they're probably here, but we're gonna find out tomorrow. Today, I'm gonna do a little bit of fishing in this river in these last couple hours of uh, the evening and uh, try for some brown trout. But pinks are the main thing. That is what we're doing tomorrow. Well, remember this video where I talked about how annoying it is that as a fishing channel, I have to go through and painstakingly check every little detail of the regulations to make sure I'm not accidentally uploading something that'll get me fined. And yet, I meet loads of people, in fact, the majority of the people out on the river that at least have one thing wrong and often flat out didn't even read the regs. Well, guess what? In this little camp spot, the one guy that's camping next to us is fishing with spoons and spinners. Honestly, I 100% don't blame him. If you're watching this, doubt you are, but you know, I, I really couldn't care less myself. I should correct this. I don't care as long as he wasn't keeping fish, but it is still technically illegal. I'm sitting here completely changing up what I'm using because of a tiny little discrepancy where you can use a spinning rod, but it is, in artificial fly zones, illegal to use anything head-weighted. And yet, this is technically weight-connected to the line, so it's legal. And I sat there and... Well, no luck on the trout tonight. Tomorrow, 
we give a shot at the thing we really came here for. Beach pinks. I will see you tomorrow. I've wanted to catch a pink salmon from the beach on a fly rod for a long time now. And today, that is exactly what we are going to be trying to do. Well, little development here. I was already just reeling in to leave and go try quite a bit further down the shore in the ocean. And right where this one guy just left, like literally 30 seconds before it started happening, I see rolling pinks. A big group too. Oh, they're right there. Right there. Yep, there's a lot. There's a lot coming through right now. Yeah, I think where I was before might be better. Cause I can, uh, not exactly where I was before, but sort of at the very tail end of that little island there, I can cast straight back with the current. And all of these fish should be moving up right there pretty quickly here. Got one. Yeah. Ooh. You help it or do you do it? I'll do it. Remember they have soft mouths. Yeah, I'm trying to let him run the line out here. Maybe took a little of his energy out. Ooh, beauty. Beautiful fish. Oh, I want to land you. Barbless hooks. And, oh. That's sorry. What happened to my second one? Significantly bigger than the first one. Nice one. Okay, buddy. 
Not ready yet. Yep, am O for two. Check out how close my line is to the shore here. I'm literally twitching it at the end of my cast, and... Oh my god. What do you think? Am I gonna go O for three? By my feet. Yeah, no, this one, this one struck super shallow. Yeah, super close. Like, like quite shallow. There's a lot around right now. Oh, he's got one here. Double header again. Triple header again. Like, I don't care how close it is to the net, I'm not putting pressure. We're gonna get it going nice and easy here. It's gonna swim on shore. Okay, that's not good. Maybe this time. I'll try and get her to the surface, but I'm not gonna pull hard. How about that? Only took three tries. No way. All three of us landed our, our fish from the triple header, and now there's another one. How about that? Well, third time's a charm here for me. Let's get this fish cleaned and get back fishing because there's a group, pretty big group moving through right now. Uh, yeah, probably with that one fish. If I get another one, it'll be a little better. Pause it right here real quick. A little earlier I talked to this guy and he said he'd watched a bunch of my videos and I thought that was cool. And then he went and proceeded to catch just endless fish, so much more than I saw anyone else catch. Which is kind of funny because he said he fished pretty hard the day before and only hooked one. Anyways, absolute legend, continue rolling the footage. But man, you, you gotta say hi to the camera because you, this dude, has been catching. That You've probably hooked as many fish as all the people I've seen here combined. Yeah. Really? Well, you've been absolutely destroying it today. Hooked up. Oh. Was hooked up with my fourth one. Yeah, no, there's a big, big bunch right here. No way. Next cast. Next cast. Cast in there. I'll deal with this fish. You want me to fish? Yeah, fish. Okay. And there goes that one too. Yep. Oh boy. It's been like maybe a couple of casts since that last one. Yeah, three and five casts, something like that. And this is a big one too. This will be forever. Just gonna absolutely baby this fish again because that last one, I actually did kind of put a little bit pressure on, got a little bit confident, and I did lose it. Or those last two, I kind of put a bit of pressure on. Maybe I really do just need to baby the hell out of them. That might be it. They just have soft mouths and we're using barbless hooks. I mean, like, you know, like I said before, I've said this like twice, that dude that was, you know, catching a bunch of fish. His first like 
four, five, six yeah, fish. He was fighting, you know, them for five minutes or more. So that's what I'm gonna do. Come on, buddy, come back up here. Yeah, this is not very good here, Dad. You gotta th just like throw me the net, seriously. Okay. Wow, that is uh, that was extremely graceful. All right. You are literally joking. I still have this fish in the net. I was just about to get dad to film this fish real quick for me. And this happens. Might have to net that fish in this net. Well, you do whatever you need to do. No, okay, I've got very little battery left here, so I'll leave you with this screaming dragon. If we land that fish, I'll film after we land it. Well, the past 10 minutes, more like five minutes, have been the best fishing we've had of the day so far. We just got these two beautiful fish. Double header. And you want to know the funniest thing? There's no one left here. There's no one left. Have a look at that. Have a look at that one right there. That's a pretty big fish. But seriously, have a look. There is nobody left, and uh, everyone else is left before that. So we've got the spot all to ourselves. I have very limited battery life left. We are gonna keep trying to fish, and if I hook a fish, I'll try to record it. Well. Just like I was saying, extremely limited camera battery. And uh, I'm probably just gonna have to turn the camera off here until the fish is close to netting and then maybe turn it on again. All right, tiring him out a little bit here. May get the netting on camera, may not. Best fishing of the whole day. We're the only two people fishing. And there was 20 people here or 10 people here earlier. Dad just lost one here, and I'm getting close to landing mine. Got him. There we go. Yeah. One more fish, and I limit out, and I've probably got like 5% battery. But there is an unreal, like by far the most amount of surfacing fish we've seen all day. And once again, like I keep saying, nobody's here. We're the only ones. Nobody around. Best fishing of the whole day. This is my third fish, and I'm using my last little bit of camera battery life on the Hero 7 to film it, and then I'm gonna switch over to the chest mount with my old GoPro. So the audio is gonna suck, but you should see if I, you know, catch one more fish and limit out, because that's all I can catch, more than this. One more of these, and I'm done. That, yeah, no, that was a slow retreat. Got him. I have officially limited out. That right there is my last pink. What? I set a camera up underwater for like 20 minutes and it got loads of visits from these little fish that I really don't know what they are. Look at those really distinct vertical lines and also the fact that they have white tipped fins. Are these Dolly Varden? I, I didn't think Dolly Varden had vertical lines like that. I'd be really interested to hear any opinions on what these fish are because they showed up a lot in this footage. And so did a few pinks. You know, we could have caught more fish there, but uh, we decided to pack up and get our fish in our cooler here and start heading home. And I just thought quickly here that I'd go over, because I didn't really do it in the video, how, uh, how or what exactly I was using. So this fly was uh, the thing I was using all day and on a floating line with a maybe 10 or so foot leader. Uh, cars going by, wait for that. And uh, another car. And yeah, so I was fishing really 
really, you know, close to the surface, and those fish were coming up for it. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you would like, there's a bug in my hair. If you would like to support this channel, the best way to do it is through Patreon. All of the donations go directly to fishing gear and camera gear to make bigger and better videos like this one. Uh, I have an Instagram, check that out. I have a Twitch channel, which is vastly different content from this. I play a few games on there. If you want to check